popped. Oh, this must be JFlex versus Golden. Um, yeah, I'd guess so. Okay, yes. Yeah. Um, JFlex ended up beating, I forget what he's going by now, but who the one who was once known as Smokey. Um, Kanagar. Kanagar. Kanagar, yep. Into um, top 32, which of course is a pretty good win. And uh, she yeah, for sure. another one that I've actually commentated a good number of times. Happy to do it again. Yeah, no, I smoky flex. That's funny. That's like a true tri-state battle. That's some of the earliest stuff I would um, be like watching when I was getting into the scene because I like picked up the scene originally going to Long Island and Jersey things, went to New mm -hmm. England and then was in like New England, New York at the same time. But uh, yeah, these I, like flex is great, man. Flex really is someone who uh, he has a lot of practice versus two saint. Like this wasn't always his best matchup, I feel like. Yeah. Well, compared to two saint also like. Right, he would yeah. go a lot of Fox sometimes and see how that would work out. But he, he definitely got a lot better. Like he would take sets still on, you know, artist formerly known as Big Kid. Yeah. Well, Wait, so yeah, uh, J Flex is a bit of context. His Sheik is his main, but he has a proficient Fox and Mart that are true secondaries that he uses in tournament to good effect uh, many times over. Um, sure. coming, coming from someone who's lost to his Marth on FD before. Um. Not, I'm not salty at all. I, of course, knew he had it. It wasn't a surprise to me. Um, in this matchup, um, the way I expect JFlex to play, this is conventionally thought of as a difficult matchup for Sheik and a good one for Jigglypuff. Um, the way that I've seen things develop is there's a lot of using platforms to change your vertical height with Sheik so that your back air can contest or perhaps even beat the way Jigglypuff is trying to control space in the center of the stage. So we'll see if like scooping back air, because um, Sheik's back air goes slightly up, when it extends outwards, yeah, um, and it, that might come, um, that might become very important in this matchup. We'll have to see exactly how both sides play it. Yeah, rising bear especially. Mm -hmm. Okay, backs off and get some needles. Yeah, Africa needles are going to be big here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to expect like yeah, like to do a lot of platform kind of camping. The rising bears, like you're saying. Um, I don't expect to see Zelda. I know we talk about that, but oh, um, I expect tilts to be catching, crat mm, catching landings. So yep. I expect a lot of F tilts and uh, down tilts in particular. Yeah, so JFlex already working with takeoff. We see right away part of the game plan. He does a back air, and because it's such a high hit box, it gets crouched underneath, and then he immediately uses a forward tilt to try to um, call out the takeoff of Golden. So we'll watch out for that. When you say takeoff, you're, you're trying to say jump? Yes. Okay, well, for, yeah. for, for Puff. She has so many jumps for me. I mean the initial jump. Initial, initial, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I just more. wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah please. Landing. Oh, reset. Yeah. That's... And yeah. Those are the tactical Basically, punishes. Yeah, I know. When you get hit by that surprise bear and you're holding, isn't a bear, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's good awareness on Golden's part. Even just a like that was a, a non oms attack. But, you know, still was able to get some uh, speed taken away from the platform. Yeah. Wow. This, this is the hard part of the matchup. How does she KO Jigglypuff at 140? That was a really good example of Falling Bear. Like, we were talking mm -hmm. about uh, how it's a little bit above. So it's basically the race to the finish going to the ground from your platform. Yeah, this, this is this is the positioning. Yeah. <laughs> To get right in that gap. Wow, he power shielded that? He crouches under most of them, and then I guess when you shield, you're just guaranteed power shield, because you're going to power shield one of them. Like, whichever one of yeah. shield comes up. That's like when uh, Marth does. It's, I feel like it has to be similar at that point. Mm -hmm. That's a good instance of a pound, because pound can be very over you. Like, uh, I'm not going to come in, am I? And then you kind of throw. But it, it needs to be mixed in. Yeah, it works I very well when you're fading away often, and then all of a sudden, you, I mean, you lunge. Yeah. It's an overextension by Jigglypuff. But like a good overextension, ideally. Yeah. An overshoot, I guess, is the better term. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and you can yeah, see uh, JFlex is trying to shut down the airspace uh, for Golden. We see a Nair over top of the head. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good reversal. <laughs> yeah, I am surprised Flex uh, didn't grab the legend. Flex was too, because he didn't tech. Mm -hmm. Up that's that's the exact down tilt I was talking about. Yep. It also works on catching the jump like towards you as well as landing. Yeah, and in that case, so Gold, Golden was backed all the way up uh, against the back 
uh, corner of the battlefield. And because JFlex has been controlling so much airspace, as Golden, what do you do at that point? So Golden stays on the ground trying to wait something out. Unfortunately, what came was a down tilt that led to a KO. Right. Okay, now catching rising to the jumps, yeah. And that was um the instance of like air dodge was better than the poof there, because the poof could put out a hitbox, but it... with the air dodge you're gonna make it back. Mm -hmm. Wave dash F tilt's a solid option, but you don't really get too much strong stuff afterwards. Alright, so now we've seen the adaptation from Golden. Um, Golden is now going up first to take away the hitbox that's meant to take away Golden's airspace. And the counter to that is JFlex, is you just wait for them to jump and try to do it, and then you come from beneath. Yeah. Adaptation <laughs> of adaptation. Yeah. Yo, dog, we heard you like adaptation. <laughs> we tried to do an adaptation so you could adapt while you're... Yeah, you know that drill. Yes. A strong that backer. Almost off the top. Finish, yeah. Oh, and that was just a kind of call out, just trying to catch that position with the up air. Needles putting on more damage, and now a forward air is going to probably KO. Yep, it's yeah, it's up around 130 that KO um, forward air starts having that type of power. I thought that pound was going to lead to like a rest, or maybe it could, could cause knockdown. Like Golden, I felt like almost could have had a rest punish there. I'm really surprised that's to see a good a dash attack there from J Flex when the percent so low. That can easily be crouch cancel rested. Yeah, I'm not as entirely sure if it could have been a boost grab, because even that's still risky. Oh, and just all caught the missed tech! Yeah, Golden has been lights out on getting rests on platforms. I've seen zero misses. I think I've watched every single Golden match this tournament, and every time someone misses attack on a platform, the rest is there immediately. And that's, like, so good, especially nowadays, because, like, you miss a slide off. You, like, your execution is as good. You don't get that slide off. That's a rest. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, and Golden that's, sealed the yeah. first game. I mean, Golden was down up until it was, I think it was two stocks to two, and Golden started to push forth. So we'll see what uh, JFlex has to, as, an, as an answer for it. Um, the answer yeah, might I'm be curious. another character, even. <laughs> My gut says he's going to run it back here with Sheik, but I don't know if that's the best option. Um, I thought maybe Yoshi's Sheik. I'm not sure, though, because like his recovery definitely, like if he ever poofs, he's just dead. True. Like from the rest, like it definitely streamlines that. So I'm not entirely sure. No, nah, good call though. It is Yoshi's. Yeah, I didn't expect him to pull the fox out because I don't think it was like character specific stuff. It's like it was. No, yeah. Slight, slight moments. Yeah, and the critical oh. moments is, are the ones that Golden was able to duck. Wow. Whoa! That was a call out. Instead of going for a, a grab or anything, he just knew that something just calls it out with the rest. I love that. Super sick. Tries to call out a tech on the right side of the platform with an up smash, but mistimes it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was uh, just Flex beating out Golden Fair with a fair of his own. Yep. Okay, yeah, and the main difference, um, I tend to think that people overplay the size of the blast zones and how important it is for matchups, um, at least a little bit. Uh, the difference between Battlefield and this and Sheik versus Puff, as far as blast zones go, I think is humongous. You do so many less, <laughs> way less neutral exchanges won. <clears throat> definitely. It, um, I could see why the Sheik wants to come here, but it definitely can work against... Try to go for a drill rest, I guess, but... Spacing just didn't quite work out. Interesting walking Puff a little bit farther to the right. I guess maybe KO off the side if the DI wrong. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. It seems like such but a minor optimization. Yep, does get the stock yeah. anyway. I think you don't really have much time, and Sheik doesn't have the best option. Who knows? Nice. That was really good. Sharking around the platform, then catches a shield. Just grab ledge. Oh, okay. You didn't need it. It seems like JFlex has started using the low top platform to his advantage as well. He'll go up to the top and then he'll sort of uh, maybe come down, maybe wave land off the side, maybe run off. Um, and it's giving more angles of approach from above. For sure. Um, I've noticed how Golden's been doing a good job just kind of like... His positioning under platforms has been good. Like even when you were talking about that, he started to cut off that, tat plat yeah. that top platform approach. Then as soon as uh, Flex tries to start doing a needle game, uh, Golden will back away to the other platform where it won't work. Wow, I also thought that was almost an up air rest. 
You know that you mentioned it, I saw Golden waiting on the right side under the platform, and watch, I watched JFlex jump to the top, and there was a standoff for just a split second, and now uh, I understand why. Yeah, it's... Platform games are so classic. Wow, that was actually a super good call-out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just not even going to challenge uh, any edge cancel, just puts that forward air there. Yeah, see, anytime Flex tries to go for the needle game, Golden is either underneath the platform ready, if he can't make it in time, he just gets to a point where it can't get him. Nice. Yeah, and of course, no control. Once Golden got Flex up high in the air, there was no control for uh, J-Flex at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that I think that was scary. due to SDI, because I think he could have rested, got him rested. Mm -hmm. I think J-Flex SDI behind him. Yeah, see, right That's even there. One. He got that because he got underneath the platform when he's charging needles, was able to get that, um, just, yeah, missed tech on the platform and arrest. That was super good. Just knowing what the position that, like, JFlex was trying to get for and then just beating it before he even, like, successfully executed. Yeah, you're so wow. used to seeing Jigglypuff uh, disengage and sort of fly up in the air horizontally and try to set up for another backer. Golden is really looking out for those opportunities to step underneath of someone on the platform and get a big punish off of it, uh, taking advantage of that up air. Because you really don't see that many up airs from Golden otherwise. But when it comes no. to platform punishes, sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're uh, running it back. Best of five. Yeah, this is top 16 at this point. Makes sense. <laughs> and by the way, after that needle, like... Golden was already underneath as well. Definitely, those needles weren't getting anywhere close to the puff. That's a super good call out on what Flex is trying to do. Okay, slowly tacking on percent as J Flex really trying to get those strong aerials. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like holding position with shield stops. Able to get a forward air doesn't quite do it. That was actually a super good uh, down tilt from J Flex. It uh, snuffed out, I think, the forward tilt from Puff since it got low. Forward. But it's just not... Plus, I do have a percent for it to get into the up air. Mm -hmm. He tries to go for a down air reset. I mean, he got it. It just doesn't follow up into anything, I guess. Yeah, on a force stand. Good mix-up from JFlex doing the wall jump um, to get the bear. And that's closed out the stock for him. That low percent dash check is so scary, but I guess that's why JFlex can do it every now and then, because, I mean, even Golden's not ready to crouch cancel it. Yeah, it also looks like he's doing it where he's going to pass through him also. Mm. Yeah, but that was a super good, super good punish that even on the full up end, and this is why I was talking about best for Sheik even. That down air up smash um, is effective. But again, nothing is truly perfect. <laughs> but that one in particular. I'm getting that profound on us. Okay, forward tilt able to oh, I mean in this game. Again. I, I know what you mean. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Not even. laughs> Nothing gold can stay, Pony Boy. <laughs> Pony Boy? Is that a Marth main? Anyway. <laughs> good crouch cancel on here. Gets the grab punish. Up airs. Yep, it's going to be difficult for JFox to get down. I think that up smash may have been um, an up air mistake. Yeah, I could see that. Like the insta. Yeah. That's actually a great call out, too. <laughs> Man, he, Golden's just knowing when to let her rip. Options he hasn't pulled. Also, yeah. great ops attack. Oh, and Randall came in huge! Yeah, for Jigglypuff, that's amazing, getting all your jumps back. Literally slide off on Randall for all the jumps. Huge. <laughs> yeah, Crouch and Shield. That's the, uh, we saw at one point, I think it was in 2018, when Hungrybox and Plup were facing off a lot. A lot of crouching like that. Wow. More up our rats. And that's about the punish that you can expect with Sheik. Mm -hmm. You know this Sheik's getting impatient when they don't charge needles before they do it, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, and this time from an up tilt, Golden's punish game, um, once again, yeah. coming to the forefront. And I think it was a down air that set it up, and if so, it's like good kind of awareness, because before he's getting down airs that weren't following up because there's the mm -hmm. FDI behind, but yeah, Golden... His awareness of all of those situations was very apparent. Um, he just really, like, JFlex knew what he was doing, but Golden just maximized these certain positions. And with the rest at the end, it was so apparent that he was able to just take these, like, all or nothing options because he knew it all lined up. Oh, yeah. And Golden learned so fast. Um, I mean, yeah. both of them, I think, are at the level where 
they know what option beats what option, what the level one option is for each character, what they want. Um, but Golden was able to recognize immediately from the posturing, this is the type of thing JPlex wants from the previous encounters. Okay, they've been uh, he's been DIing this way. I can take advantage of it in this way. Um, mm -hmm. And I think just being really aware. Uh, and, you know, I think that characters like Jigglypuff, where you have more interactions and more time between interactions, um, really highlight players who have those strengths. So it's a good find for Golden. Yeah, no, I mean... Golden did extremely well in that game. I'm excited to see how he does the rest of the tournament for sure. Yeah, three over... um, that was winners, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was winners. A three of over J Flex is uh, not an easy feat. No, no. I, I, golden winning, I can see. Golden three owing, I would not have expected. No, I, I, again, he just showed his awareness and the knowledge in the matchup. Just yeah, it was big.